You're saying Lillian Stokes is dead? And that Doug killed her? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's explore that possibility. Where were you the night before I last? I had a party, why? While there, did you meet a woman called Connie Heston? Not that I remember, no. Do you know this woman? It's Janet, Janet Taylor. She's dead. The manager of the hotel saw you go upstairs with her. You may be the last one to have seen her alive. Tell me about Saturday night, Mr. Chambers. It was a hen party. A friend of ours, at number five. So what were you doing there? It also happened to be the grim stag night. Very modern. The hotel manager asked, saw you with the deceased at approximately 10 p.m. Said you went upstairs with her. That's right. She wanted to talk about something. Something private. Which was? Her accounts. I work for Venmo Associates. We're an investment company. She was recently divorced. Her husband left her to bring up two children. And she wanted some advice on what to do with the money. Any idea why she'd give you a false name? No. As I say, we hardly knew her. Just through parties, social occasions. So, you talked to her. You gave her some advice. And then you left her alone in her room? Yes. Remember what time that was? I wasn't long. 10, 15? I'd had a few drinks by then. Did she seem troubled by anything when you left her? No. Had you noticed anyone following her at the party? No. Lurking about, acting suspicious? No. So nothing out of the ordinary, then? Just the ordinary drunken Saturday night. Mr Chambers, were you intimate with the deceased? Did you have a relationship with Connie Heston? No. So, what did you do then? Go back to the party? We went home. Together? Oh, yeah. yeah it must have been, what, about 10.30 uh, by then, wasn't it? About that, yeah. Yeah. It's none of my business, not my area, you understand, but just to satisfy my curiosity, what were you and Mr Patton fighting about? Do you know him? No, oh, he's a good bloke. Ask him. Just so long as you don't kill each other. I've got enough paperwork. It's a lovely house, Mrs Chambers. Dan. Thanks, Sam. You all right, mate? Yeah. 
heard about Janet. You don't think it's going to happen to someone you know? Still can't believe it. What did the police say? They just want to talk to anyone who saw that night. Routine? Yeah. I'd best get him back home. Thanks, Sam. Jack, I'd like to say it's a pleasure, it but... It was you, uh, Doug. Me? You killed her. Sorry, you've lost me. Connie Heston. Or Janet Taylor. That was her body we buried, wasn't it? Body? You've been burying bodies, Jack. Don't give me any of your bullshit, Doug. Well, I hope you've got some evidence for this theory of yours, because defamation of character can be very expensive. Oh, I know you killed Connie. I know you killed Lillian Stokes as well. What is it, Doug? Death just another turn on, is it? I've warned you, Jack. You stay away from here. Jack! Oh, go on, Jack. What are you waiting for, huh? Let go of him, Jack. Come on, Jack. Unprovoked assault. First offence, I'll be out in six months. Be worth it, though, huh? Come on. What are you doing? Come on, Jack. Oh, go on. Law's on my side, Jack! He killed Connie Hess. And I know he killed William Stokes. Come on, Kay. Nobody's seen Lillian in months. Emails, that's it. You don't have to be halfway around the world to send them, though. And what about her glasses? Why would she leave those behind? Hmm? We'll go to the police. What? Well, if Doug's this big serial killer like you say he is, don't you think they've got a right to know? No, but you can't, can you? Because he's not. Well, why do you find it so difficult to trust people, Jack? Maybe if they gave me a reason to trust them. Have you slept with him? Oh, is that what all this is about? No. Night, Jack. He nearly lost us that deal, Jack. It's taken us months to get Victor to trust us. Months of delicate negotiations, and then you go and behave like... like... Well, you tell me. What was all that about, Jack? I've told you. It was a private issue. I trusted you with this deal, Jack, because I thought you were the best man for the job. I still am. I don't give second chances, Jack. You don't have to. I hope not. Job, new computer? Oh, what's wrong with the old one? You can't live in the past, Jack. Got to move with the times. See how you were, not dead or anything. Um, and uh, I want to apologise as well. Um, I really, I don't know what came over him. It must have been 
something pretty major for Dad to react like that. Have you talked to him? No. He accused me of sleeping with your mother. Are you? <laughs> she had an affair. Months ago now. <laughs> Really? I didn't know. Must have been tough. Yeah. Every little thing you question. She's meeting who she's talking to. It's not an excuse, I know. I know that, but... I guess it's only natural. Jump to the wrong conclusions sometimes. Jack, please. Your husband is trying to frame me for Connie Hessen's murder. Right, I want the truth. No bullshit. He killed Lillian Stokes, didn't he? Yes. Can you prove it? One thing Doug doesn't do is make mistakes. I'm wondering where I am. Andrea. I was 15 when I met him. I was sitting in the back of my parents' car. It was raining. If I saw the truck, I don't remember. They said my parents never felt a thing. Doug had stopped to help. I remember he held my hand while the ambulance arrived and then he sang to me so I wouldn't fall asleep. It was the sweetest sound I ever heard. He says it's because he loves me. The jealousy. Everything he does is because he loves me. After the affair, you ended up in hospital. Jack, that wasn't because of some other man. I ended up in hospital because I didn't know what else to do. You could leave him. <sighs> then we have to do something. It's probably best we don't meet like this again. Not in public, it's too risky. You almost make it sound exciting, like you're having some sort of mad affair. <laughs> he warned me off. He told me to stay away from you. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be careful. Around to your work today. Really? Mm. No one said. Just missed you. You'd gone for lunch. Come on, eat your dinner.
Dad. Yeah? Is that what you really want to eat? Well, that's uh, usually how I have it, son. It's an old northeastern speciality, that. Don't you remember? Yeah. Of course. I love what granddad's got. Eat. Hi. Thanks for looking after him. Any time. You know that. How long are you going to keep this up for? Have you told Jack yet? This has got nothing to do with Jack. So you're still going to go through with it then? My appointment's next Friday. Oh, Lauren, believe me, if there was any other way... There is. You can have the baby. You know I can't do that. I'd like you to come with me. Hold your hand while you kill my husband's child. It's not just your decision. Have you told Sam? He has a right to know. It's better if Jack hears it from you than from someone else. Ready? Just locking up. Looking for something, Jack. Hello, Vince. Yeah, Doug Patton here. Uh, <laughs> you won't believe this, but I've had a burglary. That's right, but I apprehended him and he's on the premises. You'll be here in five minutes? That's great. See you then. Maybe it's me, maybe I haven't explained the rules of the game clearly enough to you. <laughs> What was it you were hoping to find, Jack? Ah, well, put it on. Well, go on. You've come this far. It's a shame not to satisfy that curiosity of yours. I should thank you. I've been meaning to erase that for ages.
amazing what love makes you do, isn't it, Jack? But it is a strange thing to break into someone's house and steal, though. Or were you expecting something else? Hmm? Do you think that I would be so stupid as to make tapes of her, Jack? It's only a matter of time before you slip up, dog, and when you do, I'm gonna be there. Oh, Andrea's really done a number on you, hasn't she? She's using it, Jack. Just like she used me. But you're lucky. You've still got time to get out. Me, well, I'm too far down the road to be saved, but you still got that chance. Why can't you be happy, Jack? With your lovely wife, your cute son, your pretty teenage daughter. <sighs> Forget it, Jack. You can't win. Neither of us can. What did you tell the kids? I told them that we needed some time apart. Don't you think? Decide what we want. Oh. I know what I want, Kay. No. No, you don't. Turn the volume off, are you? No, don't want to waste the lecky. Oh, off on your own, Zaisel. I'm staying at a friend's. You'll be back at the weekend. Well, the police said I'm not allowed within 500 yards of Doug's house. We talked about it, remember? See you at the weekend, then. Hey, your mother's cooking you one of your favourites. Yeah. Mm. See you again, Dad. Yeah. It's not the other side of the world. They've got these things, uh, phones, I think they're called. Do you love her? That's why you're really leaving, isn't it? envisaged it as a love nest, you know, in case you ever met the right fella. Are you sure you don't want me to stick around? Hmm? I could help you polish off a bottle of whiskey. Isn't that what men usually do in these circumstances? Oh, no, I'll be fine here. Really, I'll... Helen. <laughs> well, you've got my number if, if you want to talk, have a drink, foot massage, casual sex. Goodbye, Helen. Helen. Thanks.
can perform a procedure next week. Do you have any preference? Mm. How about Wednesday? Would that be all right, Mrs. Chambers? Yeah. Settle down with you and Jack. Jack and I haven't exactly been love's young dream these past few months. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not your fault. I mean, not that what happened between us meant nothing. It did. It's just... Well, you know, you were the... A nice distraction. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I really that horrible to you? The worst. Does he love you? When he says he does. But I guess anyone can just say it, can't they? Some of us mean it. Look, I'm going to be up here for quite some time, so maybe we could have dinner one night, or... maybe not. Jack's father's just come out of hospital. I think I'd better go. Nice to see you again. You too. supposed to be seen together. I had to see you. This is a really bad idea. I know. Um, right then, Mr. Chambers. <clears throat> Let's follow me. <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, not now, Helm. This just arrived for you. Cheers. And then um, there's somebody here to see you. Do you have any credit cards? A couple. A wife. <laughs> well, the first thing you've got to do is clear all your debts and get rid of them. But I suggest you invest in a tax-free ISA. You can invest up to £7,000. Get an index tracking unit trust. You know, this reflects the performance of the stock exchange. It's low risk. I'll write it all down for you if you like. That'd be great. Finance never been my strong point, I'm afraid. Any more news about Connie Hesson? We're still interviewing. A lot of people at that party were at the other night. Including your friend, Mr. Patton. He confirms you left the party with your wife. Funny thing, though. A couple of the guests thought they saw your wife drive off alone. Well, yeah, they must be mistaken. Night time. Difficult to see. Thanks for this, Mr. Chambers. I'll see myself out.
Adam, you scared me. What is it? Is it Lauren? Are you quite sure it's mine? Sam, you're scaring me. Don't be. I didn't mean you to be. I just wanted to see my baby, that's all. Before... I never thought in a million years I'd be a dad again. I wasn't even sure if I wanted another child. After Tommy dying, if I'm honest, I only went along with the whole thing. The parties, the lifestyle, everything. Because Lauren was so desperate to have a kid. It's all she wants. All she talks about. Things you do when you're in love, eh? You'll do anything. No matter how stupid, if there's a chance of seeing her smile again like she used to, well then, you take it, wouldn't you? I love her so much, Kay. I'm not here to put pressure on you. Lauren told me what you want to do. It's your body, your decision, whatever you decide. Whatever you do, well, and I respect that. I just wanted to see my kid. That's all. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, why shouldn't I be? Well, it's just not like you to come round the office. No, no, well, you forgot some things. I was in town anyway, and I, I just thought you might need them. Well, it's not permanent. No, no, I know, but I, I just thought you might need them, that's all. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, look, do you want to sit down? I've got a meeting. No, no, no. I just, um... Um... I wanted to see you. I miss you. I miss you too. Big bed. Nobody to keep me awake at night snoring. But the funny thing is, is I can't actually sleep without hearing it. Mm, funny thing. Well, um... Yeah, listen, Jack, there, there is something that I actually wanted to speak to you about. One sec. Jack Chambers. Jack, my office. Hi, Kate. Hi. What do you mean you haven't received it? I sent the paperwork yesterday. Take top, Jack. Yes, one sec, Helen. I know. I will talk to you. Yeah. tonight and get a takeaway. What do you fancy? Don? Yes, ambulance, please. Nice. 
Surprising the things you might have to do is get the attention of a girl. Okay. Something I want you to do under the bed. Burn them. Quarter to three. There's no one in the place except you and me. Set them up, Joe. I've got a little story you ought to know. We're drinking, my friend, to the end of a brief episode. Make it one for my baby. And one more for the road. I know the routine. Put another nickel in the machine. I'm feeling so bad. Can't you make the music easy and sad? I could tell you a lot. But that's not in a gentleman's code. Make it one for my baby and one more for the road. Well, that's how it goes. And Joe, I know you're getting anxious to close. Thanks for the beer. I hope you didn't mind my bend in your ear. This torch that I found, it's got to be drowned or it's going to explode. So make it one for my baby and one more for the road. Listen, I've um, laid on a few sandwiches and stuff at the house for everyone. If uh, if you fancy coming back... You know I can't. Would you like me to stay with you? I'll be fine. Dan, no, hop in. Yeah, he's fine. Look, why doesn't he stay here tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow morning. He uh, doesn't know about it then. 
I didn't know how to tell him. Yeah, well, you're going to be late. You think I'm terrible, don't you? No. No, I don't. I think you've got your reasons. Like you say, you've just got your life back. Last thing you want is to go through all that again. It's not your father's. I know. Which is probably the best reason not to have it. Mrs. Chambers? Come in. I'm worried about you. Hmm? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. What you got there? Uh, these belong to Don. He asked me to burn them, but when I saw what they were, I thought you might, thought you might want to keep them. Have oh, you read these? Some. This was written last month. I wrote to your mother every week. Every Friday. Twenty-six years too late, Dad. You know, she's been dead ten years. He told me he left her because he didn't love her anymore. Jack, he still loved her. In spite of everything he did. Sometimes you can't help who you fall in love with. Better go. He'll be finishing his shift soon. No, don't go. Don't go. Can't stay here forever. I do get frightened sometimes. Not of him, but of me. What I might do. I know I shouldn't say it, I shouldn't even think it, but I wish you were dead. No, you're right, you shouldn't say it. Why not? Both thinking the same thing, aren't we? Don't tell me the thoughts never crossed your mind. I find myself wishing it more and more every day. Think of it, Jack. You'll be out of our lives forever. You won't be a threat anymore. We could be together. 